All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got to take a look at Russell Brand absolutely destroying a political analyst by the name of John Hellman, who works for MSNBC, when he tried to accuse Fox News of being a biased news network, as if MSNBC isn't a biased news network. We're about to take a look at this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we're watching. Now let's roll it. John, I've not known you long, but I love you already. But I have to say that it's, <laughs> it's disingenuous to claim that the biases that are exhibited on Fox News are any different from the biases exhibited on MSNBC. It's difficult to suggest that's, that's... that these corporations operate as anything other than mouthpieces for their affiliate owners in BlackRock and Vanguard. And, and unless we start to embrace... And, and also, mate, like, just spiritually, if I may use that word in your great country, we have to take responsibility <laughs> for our own perspective. I, I've been on that MSNBC, yeah, mate. It was right. propagandist nutcrackery yeah. you're, you're on there. Having, you, I went on the show called Morning Joe. Yeah. It was absurd the way they carried <laughs> Good on. Good morning, Joe. Yes. Yeah, it, I don't it. know what it was. It wasn't morning. There was no one called Joe there. No one could concentrate. They didn't understand the basic tenets of journalism. No one was willing to stick up for genuine American heroes uh, like Edward Snowden. No one was willing to talk about Julian Assange and what he suffered trying to bring real journalism to the American American people, and I think to sit within the castle of MSNBC throwing rocks oh. at Fox News is ludicrous. My friend, make my MSNBC friend. better. My make friend. MSNBC my great friend. again. My friend, I would love. I would. The moment the moment. Why them on a territory right. you can win on, Joe? Well, Russell, Russell, darling, um, the moment that you give me a specific example. An actual example. Okay, I'll give you oh, one. Right, just wait, just wait, 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 that we know that the election wasn't stolen You've or something this equivalent, example. but I will go. I but I will go out. But I will go out on television and say the okay. opposite. I will lie. When's I'll, my answer? We, we give, just give me a, give me the specific example. I understand the basic okay. part. Right. Now, when he asks Russell Brand to give him an example, he asks for an example of something an MSNBC analyst got on the news and said and absolutely knew that it was false. I think Russell Brand was more so speaking to the media bias than actual false claims but he even followed up to give an example and of course this guy didn't want to hear it i could give another example the hunter biden laptops the way that msnbc cnn and all these left-wing left-leaning organizations covered it they made it seem like it was all just a farce they made it seem like it was no story it was nothing to see there but me and millions of people at this point have seen the some of the things that were on that laptop, and it was definitely a story there. But they dismissed it as if it was all just nonsense, as if it was all not true. When Trump was the president, these same organizations pushed the Russiagate hoax and the Steele dossier as if that was true. That turned out to be a whole load of crap. In 2020, when the BLM and Antifa riots happened and there was a billion to $2 billion worth of property damage, they tried to play that down as if it was mostly peaceful protests and there was nothing to see here, even though it was fire literally burning in the background of their cameras. All right. Uh, I'm with you. I think it's a false equivalency, Russell. It's a no, it's I, not. I, that's I, your I, own I, bias. It's, a false but, mainly. it's, a, it's not I, about bias. It's a false equivalency because you don't <clears> actually know anything about any of these organizations you're talking about. Even on MSNBC once, big fucking deal. My darling, you, it was more than enough. With, you can't come it up with such a you don't have a single, You have a single actual no. fact. Do you want an example? Yeah, Do you yes. want an example? Yes. The ludicrous, outrageous criticisms of Joe Rogan around ivermectin. That's what not about Rachel example. Maddow turning up on the TV no, saying, if you take well, this vaccine, you're not going to get it, when it hadn't been clinically trialed to transition. Non-responsive. You have to listen. Wait, Do you think you can improve response. America I by determinedly be and avowedly condemning Fox News without acknowledging that you're participating in the same game? I'm... Did you not just listen to Bernie <laughs> Sanders, someone who plainly, legitimately believes in this country and believes it's possible to change, but is bound by corruption, is bound by the lobbying system. Surely it's clear to you, Bill, as one of the great pundits and experts and comic voices, that systemic change is required. Money has to be taken out of politics. We need new political systems that genuinely represent ordinary Americans so that we can overcome cultural differences. And bickering about which propagandist network is the worst is not going to save a single 
American life, not improve the life of a single American child, not going to improve America's standing in the world, and the world needs a strong America. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. So you have an obligation, a duty, not to condemn these people. Let's just point out the obvious. It's a reason why these news networks are losing viewership. It's because people don't view them as a trusted source of news and proper journalism anymore. And that's what Russell Brand is speaking more to. It's the fact that these organizations aren't true journalists anymore. They just push the opinions of the people who control their networks, of the parties that control their networks. And the American people, regular people, are starting to discover this more and more every day, which is why we don't trust the news that we see. The race baiting from MSNBC is also bad journalism that needs to be talked about. They make it seem like Fox News is all about galvanizing white people to hate black people and people of color. And it's all about galvanizing right wing extremists to go and terrorize America. But on MSNBC, you have analysts like Joy Reid who openly and freely push anti-white talking points all of the time. They constantly push this idea that right wing extremists and Trump supporters are the biggest threat to the country, um, a threat to American homeland security. This is the narrative that they want all of us to buy into, but we know that that's not true. Religious, conservative, white people, and conservatism as a whole has become the number one target for these news agencies to go after. And the last point I want to make is, yes, Fox News does have a right-wing bias, but MSNBC has a bias that leans toward the establishment. When everyone was on lockdown and we couldn't talk about COVID, who had the misinformation strikes under all their videos? Who had the little fact checks at the bottom of all their tweets and at the bottom of their YouTube videos? It was all conservative people. And the mainstream liberal media like MSNBC is on the side of the same people who make those fact checks. So it's very clear to see where their loyalty lies. A journalist like Tucker Carlson from Fox News does stories on the Democratic Party, does stories on rhinos and the Republican Party. He covers both sides of the aisle, whether you like to hear that or not. He actually does. But MSNBC is on the same side of the people who will tell you it's nothing to see here about COVID. It's nothing to see here about the Hunter Biden laptops. The Russiagate hoax against Trump was all real. They'll tell you all of these lies. So we know exactly where they stand and whose pockets they're in but that's it for the video you guys let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe on your way out the door and until next time you guys i'm out of here peace